I'm here in Cadillac, Michigan, and behind me is a apple tree that is probably 25 to 30 feet tall. Doesn't look like it's ever really been pruned or trained. And uh, the homeowner asked me to help him learn how to prune trees like this. But there are a couple of things that I would suggest to people think about before they decide to take on a job like this. First of all, I would ask them, do you know what the variety is? And if they don't, I'd ask them, have they ever tasted the apples? Most of the time they'll tell you that, no, I haven't sprayed them, the apples aren't edible. So what I normally would suggest people do is do the minimal pruning so that you can treat the tree for insects and diseases for one year so that you can get a good quality apple, then try it, use it in terms of processing, fresh eating, that type of thing, and decide if you really like that apple or not. Because it's gonna be a major job to prune this tree since it's never been trained, it's not going to be a beautiful tree, even when we're finished with it. So I would think about maybe um, planting some new dwarf trees, which you can keep under 10 feet, and you'll know what varieties you have. And you get uh, fruit in about three years, because they're pretty precocious trees. They bear pretty quickly. Now this particular tree, we don't even know if it's a, a tree that was planted, or if it was a seedling apple. So the quality might not even be worth keeping. And that's one of the things that I would think about before I would decide to go through the many hours of pruning this tree to get it back into shape for production. So when there's so much to do, where do you start? Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take out some of the lower branches that will prevent us from getting up into the tree to make the major cuts that we're going to need to make to lower the overall height of the tree. And of course, if you watch some of the other pruning videos, we're going to take out all the dead wood. We're going to take out uh, branches that we call water sprouts that go straight up through the middle of the tree. And there's some very large ones in there. Uh, then we will try to decide what branches do we want to uh, remove in order to bring the overall height of the tree down. Then once we've done that, then we will take some major cuts on some of the internal branches so that we can open the tree up. And uh, of course, um, we do all this with the hope of making the tree looking presentable in the landscape because one of our goals is, is to have an attractive looking tree in the landscape. And that's gonna be really tough with this one, but uh, Homer and I are gonna get started and we'll see how this turns out. All right, here we go. This is not gonna be fun. And it's gonna be a little dangerous too if we start working at the top of the tree. But anyway, to make a long story short, we're going to start clearing out all of this lower stuff in here so that we can uh, get ladders in closer and also uh, be able to get to some of those higher branches. So we're going to start down here with the easy stuff. Now that we've cleaned out a lot of this material, we can bring a ladder in here and we're going to take out this one, this one, and this one, which will reduce the overall height of the tree. But I'm going to start with this one because it will give me a little bit more maneuvering room when I try to take out these two, which are pretty big and they're going to be heavy. So I hope we can pull them down. All right, uh, we've been walking around this tree trying to decide on what we're going to do next in terms of taking out the large branches. And this particular branch goes all the way up into the tree and over another branch. If we take this one out, it'll not only reduce the overall height of the tree, but it will also avoid the problem with this particular branch crossing over another one. And so we chose the other one on the other side because that one is a little bit lower to the ground and will be easier to pick than this one. So it's going to be a major branch to take out, but shouldn't be that much difficulty.
Now the remaining branch at the top that we need to remove in order to shorten the overall height of the tree is a pretty big branch. And if we don't have the guts to take it on, then we'll probably have to hire somebody that can bring a high boy in here and take it down safely. Ideally, you would take that down in pieces, maybe three or four pieces, and it's less likely to be a problem. But if I cut it with the chainsaw, I better have a place for it to fall and I better not be in the way of it. Otherwise, this video might be quite short. Okay, we were able to get that large branch down safely. We had another ladder that reached up high enough and we took it down in three pieces. So now we're gonna work on the lower part, getting out the dead wood, thinning out some of those branches because a lot of the branches are very thick and um, we need to get light penetration through this tree. There's still work to do in the higher part of the tree, but right now we're gonna take a break and stay on the ground for a while. Now you can see that we've lowered the height of the tree by about uh, a third, maybe a little bit more, maybe 40%. And at this point, all that has to be done is finish the thinning of the different branches. As we said, taking out the dead branches, straight up growth, crossing branches and dead branches. And Tom's gonna finish that up. And uh, this is what the tree looks like. 